Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the third film in our Black American Experience in Film program. Today we're showing Marshall from 2017, produced and directed by Reginald Hudlin and starring Chadwick Boseman as Thurgood Marshall, who became the first African-American Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, Josh Gad as Sam Friedman, and Kate Hudson as Eleanor Strubin. The film focuses on one of Marshall's first cases, State of Connecticut versus Joseph Bell. It tells the story of Eleanor Strubing, a wealthy white woman from Greenwich, Connecticut, who accused her black butler chauffeur, Joseph Bell, of raping her and then throwing her off a bridge. When Spell was questioned for hours about his role in the crime, he confessed under pressure. The racist tones of the charges attracted the attention of the NAACP, which sent Marshall to supervise the trial proceedings. The theme song, Stand Up for Something, which won the Academy Award for Best Original Song, was composed by Marcus Miller. And the costumes were designed by Ruth E. Carter, who had designed for a number of notable films with an African-American focus, including Selma, which we have just seen, and Black Panther. Filming began in Los Angeles in mid-2015 and proceeded to Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Local scenes include the Buffalo City Hall, the Buffalo Central Terminal, Damon College, Orchard Park, and Niagara Falls. The movie was released in 2017 and premiered at Howard University, with both Marshall and Bozeman had attended. Although Bozeman's performance received good reviews, some critics had concerns about a lack of depth and characterization in the story, and the film did not do well financially. New York Times film critic Manola Dargis praised the film for using a specific case as a way of exploring Marshall's life, but was critical of overly simplified characterizations employed to make the subject matter more palatable to the audience. She felt that the movie failed to address the issue of colorism in US society, which resulted in the light-skinned Marshall likely having a different life experience than the dark-skilled Bozeman. She also pointed out that the fact that the case took place in the North rather than the South made the eventual outcome that much, that much easier to achieve. But Peter Travitz, writing in Rolling Stone magazine, said that Quote, Bozeman's dramatic lightning gives us an electrifying glimpse of a great man in the making. Chadwick Bozeman was a black American actor-director who studied acting and directing at Howard University and had his acting breakthrough playing Jackie Robinson in 42. He later achieved international fame in the Black Panther series. He was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016, but kept his illness private, playing the role of Marshall while he underwent various surgeries and bouts of chemotherapy. He continued to perform until shortly before his death last summer, successfully completing a brilliant performance in the role of Levy in the Netflix movie Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which has just been released and is currently available streaming on the Netflix channel. He was on his way to a great career when he passed away, and his unexpected passing was a shock to many film goers. Reginald Hudlin produced and directed Marshall. Together with his brother Warrington Hudlin, he has developed a respected career in Hollywood, producing and directing many projects for TV and theatrical release. The two men are widely known as the Hudlin brothers. Reginald has produced a number of well-known films, including Django Unchained, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. And he served as president of the Black Entertainment Network from 2005 to 2008. The Hudlin brothers are paternal great-great-grandsons of Peter and Nancy Hudlin, who were part of the Underground Railroad. Plot summary. This is the story of Thurgood Marshall, who was a crusading NAACP lawyer during his early career. The narrative follows Marshall's battle for justice through one of his career-defining cases, State of Connecticut versus Joseph Spell, as he and his colleague Sam Friedman 
seek to defend a poor black man from charges of rape. Fun facts about the film. When Marshall arrives at the train station, he arrives in the real Buffalo Central Terminal. But the terminal was actually a wreck, and the crew had to digitally restore the windows shown. Bozeman had already played other distinguished black men. He played James Brown in Get On Up in 2008 and Floyd Little in The Express in 2008. Friedman attends Ro Temple Rodef Shalom in the film. In Hebrew, this means pursuer of peace. The Talmud applies this term to a person who stands for justice, as Sam Friedman does in this film. Scenes depicting the outside of the courthouse were actually shot on the steps of the Buffalo City Hall. From 2005 to 2008, Hudlin wrote the Marvel comic book Black Panther, and Bozeman played that role in the ensuing Black Panther series. Bozeman starred with another martial actor, Sterling K. Brown, in the Black Panther in 2018. Some of the items in the law office were Roycroft antiques. Roycroft was a reformist community of craft workers and artists who were part of the arts and craft movie movement in the US. It was founded in 1895 by Albert Hubbard in the village of East Aurora, New York, south of Buffalo. Participants were known as Roycrofters, and their work had a strong influence on American art and design of the 20th century. The film features artworks by Martha Birchfield Richter, whose father was the painter Charles Birchfield. Many of the cast and crew were Buffalo reg residents. The creek where Joseph Spell allegedly tried to murder Eleanor Strubin was known as Murder Creek because a murder had been committed on its banks in the early 1800s. Things to look for. Roycroft Antiques, Buffalo City Hall, Buffalo City Terminal with restored windows, Murder Creek, Martha Birchfield Richter's artworks, the theme song, Stand for Something, and Ruth E. Carter's chic period costumes. And now it's time to show Marshall, get comfortable, have a snack, and the film will roll shortly. Enjoy. Please be aware there may be a short delay before the film rolls. <laughs> 